My people, you don't set again, no, you don't scatter. No be smarty, no make una carry on a jokote. Sit down, listen to this one, my people. No be smarty, no things they happen for Nigeria. No be small corruption. This one I was chocolate. No be smarty, I no say most of una una know this lawyer. No be smarty, I this lawyer talk concerning Nigeria. Nigeria a carry nyash for na. Wait till come they happen. Money come they miss anyhow. They know they recover and nothing nothing the government just they tiflize money like never before make una listen to this lawyer with this lawyer they talk make una regard and nigeria is the only country that comes out where the government will say we are losing 700 million dollars every day because of oil theft who are the oil thieves they know them Oil theft, oil smuggling, all have official backing. Again, Nigeria is the only oil producing country without that has not acquired the meter, meter, a meter, to know how much oil you produce daily. Nigeria is the only oil producing country that has refused to acquire that meter. Furthermore, there is an organization called Lloyd. That body, and Nigeria subscribed to that body. NMPC subscribes to that body. That body knows and has a record of all ships, all ships that load what to any part of the world. Nigeria has access to that body. Yet we are told we don't know who is stealing our oil and where the, the oil is being taken to. Now we did a study, January 2011 to December 2014. We discovered, and we made the information available to the government. Nothing has happened. One port, one port, Philadelphia port in America. The oil that left Nigeria, the charge in that country, the difference between what was recorded here and what was recorded there was 62.5 million barrels of crude oil, valued at 12.7 billion dollars. One pot. So if you take 20 pots in America, 20 in China, United Kingdom, France, you know what we are talking about. So the government knows, and if they want information, we can make it available to the government if they are actually looking for those who are stealing our oil and those who are smuggling our oil. Because this year, please, 2020 budget, 2022 budget, the government, this government claimed that we are going to spend 443 billion naira on so-called fuel subsidy. By June, President Buhari took told the National Assembly a supplementary budget that increased the 443 to 4 trillion naira. No debate. The National Assembly did not debate and passed it. Now the Minister of Finance is saying, Mrs. Ahmed Zainab, that before the end of this year, that figure of 4 trillion will go to 6.5 trillion naira. And that therefore, in the budget of next year, there may be no money for capital project. Please, I challenge you. I challenge labor in particular. We must get to the root of this criminality once and for all.